This is the amazing, mind-blowing Thai food at one of the highest rated Thai restaurants in all of Los Angeles. Now I see why this is a celebrity hotspot in LA. You just can't miss it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in LA, specifically in Westwood, because I'm gonna be checking out a rockin' Thai restaurant. I am here at Emporium Thai. Now the reason why this restaurant is so rockin' is that it is the most reviewed Thai restaurant on Yelp in LA. It's even been voted as one of top 100 Thai restaurants in the US. So if you guys want to see one of the best Thai restaurants that you can eat at in Los Angeles, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end because you're going to see Southern Thai food like no other here at Emporium in Los Angeles. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm going to be heading into this Thai restaurant and getting some awesome Thai food. Here we go. I started this restaurant in 2000 and it's been 23 years and counting, right? We grew up in the southern part of Thailand and I grew up with 11 siblings where my parents, you know, would cook every day for us. So when I came to the U.S. in 1990, I feel like, wow, you know what? It would be great to share those recipe with, you know, with the world. Uh, since we grew up in the south, we, we specialize in uh, Southern Thai food. You know, we have some of the unique dishes that you won't find that in other Thai restaurants. Uh, I want to say like we probably the number one Thai food catering in Los Angeles. We are so grateful that, you know, we get to share all this uh, family recipe that hand down from, you know, my grandparents, my parents, and now, you know, to us. And then, you know, now, now even our younger generation learn how to cook at Emporium Thai. Wow, I recognize a lot of these dishes that are on this menu. You see the appetizers, and I'm assuming that the one that's in bold is the uh, house specialty. And then they got all these fan favorites along with seafood. So based on what I'm seeing, it doesn't look like it's a cheap eats type of restaurant, but hopefully the quality is all there, which I think it is. And I do see that they do have lunch specials that runs from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. during the weekdays. So yeah, this is definitely a lot more affordable. So like I said, Emporium Thai specializes in Southern style Thai food. And this is also a Thai select restaurant. And if you guys don't know what that is, it is a chamber of commerce organization from Thailand that certifies authentic, legit Thai restaurants outside of Thailand. So if you have one of these labels, it's almost like a Michelin star of Thailand cuisine, which is awesome. So I got five of their specialty items here. Some of them are on the menu and some are off menu. This is called the Phuket Wings, which are their fried chicken wings with the house special curry sauce on top, and this is all family recipe. This one is called Acon Salad, which is pretty much a mango and coconut salad. Now, this is the first time I'm trying this one at a Thai restaurant. And this one is called the Ken Special. So that's ground chicken that's been stir fried with, looks like bell pepper, it got some chilies in there, and that's a fried egg on top over rice, a complete meal. And this one is called the Drunken Prawn, which is a take on drunken noodles, stir-fried rice noodles with shrimp on top. Now this one looks pretty killer. This is their Southern Curry Soft Shell Crab. And they are known for their Southern style curry at this restaurant, so you got to try it when you're here, from what I heard. Since it's out in the middle of Westwood, parking can be a little bit challenging, but you can kind of find it around the neighborhood for two hours. And it's very close to UCLA as well. So if you are a student and you're looking for good uh, Thai food, then I guess it's right here. I've eaten fried chicken a few times at Thai restaurants, but I don't know if I've had them like in these wings form with the curry sauce on it. Amazing flavor. So it's a crispy fried chicken wings with a curry flavor because of the sauce over it. Wow, very delicious. I don't know if you guys are into chicken wings, but if you are, you should definitely get it here, especially if you want a very interesting twist that's not your typical buffalo wings flavor. This is really good, wings done Thai style. 
Speaking of interesting dishes, look at this one. I've never seen anything like this before. Mmm. Coconut flavored mango. Can you guys imagine that? That really tastes like something out of Asia or Thailand. I think this is one of the most enjoyable mango dishes that I've ever had. See, that's one of the things I love about going to Thai restaurants, especially their Thai select, is that you're gonna find a lot of dishes that uh, you've never seen or heard of before, but you should definitely get it because it's pretty killer. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, that is still pretty hot. So when I say hot, I don't mean like spicy, it's burning your mouth. It's just because it's really right off that wok. That's the perfect way to eat these noodles. Mmm. Like those noodles are so oily, it has like a umami flavor. It's whenever you eat it, it makes you feel so good. Like comfort food, that's the best word. So if you're looking for a very popular noodle dish, I think it's this one because it tastes phenomenal. I mean, you're gonna find stuff like the Pad Thai Pad Siu on the menu, which is pretty good. I mean, it's always a go-to for me. But if you wanna try something that's really a house specialty here, I heard this one is, is it the drunken shrimp? I'm pretty excited about trying this one because whenever I see ground chicken with a side of rice and that egg on top, I get super excited. So this one you can make very spicy if you wanted to. I'm more of kind of like a mild type of Thai spicy because even mild and Thai spicy is very spicy. But hey, if you like medium or you like hot, super hot, it's completely up to you. I mean, look at that egg. Look at how perfectly fried it is, how crispy it is, how flaky it is. Oh, dude. It's like ultimate Thai comfort food. Now I can see why they call this the Ken Special because this is truly a special dish. Of course, when you come here, you gotta have your drinks too, like Thai iced tea, right? Oh, even this thing make really good here. It's a really perfectly balanced Thai iced tea. I'm loving everything here. So this one is a Southern style curry. Oh yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a knockout. I can already tell you, get it. It's that good. Yeah, I heard that their curry is a thing at this restaurant, the Southern style curry. It is truly amazing. Really amazing flavor, wow. I'm a big fan of Thai curry, so whenever you put it in front of me, whether it's the yellow or the green curry, I'm gonna order like almost every time I go to a Thai restaurant. And I think this is the first time I've had it with the soft shell crab. This is so new to me, but then again, I love soft shell crab, so this is my dream combination in a Thai restaurant. Let me tell you, I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. See, the reason why I love this curry is that it is so perfectly balanced, just a little bit spicy. <laughs> a little bit sweet with that creamy coconut flavor. Mm. It really just transports you to Thailand. Of course, I cannot leave here without trying my desserts, uh-huh. This is called the Cardi B Mango with Sticky Rice. You heard that right, the singer Cardi B, because this is one of her favorite foods from what I heard. This is a very popular Thai dessert. So it's mango sticky rice with fresh mango. Okay, this is quite an interesting item. These are Thai donuts, which are homemade Thai donuts, and it has um, sweet condensed milk on the side, and it already has some all over it. We even got dishes named after celebrities who have been here. You know, that is really the spot to be. Super sweet, refreshing, and very soft. That's exactly how mango should taste like in mango sticky rice. I can see how some people can come just for this. I mean, even that sticky rice is perfect. I mean, everything that I've eaten so far is just so good in so many ways. Mm. Oh wow, that is mind blowing. I just love it because it tastes so fresh. It's crispy, it's very doughy soft, and it's milky, it's sweet, it's perfect. This is like one of the most enjoyable desserts I've had in a Thai restaurant. Okay, yeah, you should definitely get this one too. 
I mean, everything that I ate today was so comforting, like feel-good food. Everything from the appetizers to the main entrees and even these mind-blowing donuts. This is really the restaurant you got to be. So make the drive on over here. Or if you're at UCLA, walk over here because this is a real deal Thai restaurant. Definitely one of the top ones I've been to recently. They have dine-in, they got takeout, they got catering. They pretty much got it all. So have at it. All right, guys. So before I close out this episode, I want to give a shout out once again to the awesome owner, John. So when you come here, tell him in the staff that you saw this video and he's going to give you something very special. What is that, John? That's going to be Cardi B mango sticky rice, which is her favorite. That is one of the great reasons why you should come to this awesome restaurant. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. You know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.